Charlotte and I were reading in the book of James today in our uh, continuing uh, devotional uh, time, uh, reading through the New Testament. And we're down to the fourth chapter of James. And uh, this passage of scripture has meant so much to me because, see, I've discovered that the Christian life is positional, it's powerful, and it's practical. Uh, we're in Christ, he's in us, and the power of the Holy Spirit lives in us. And But there's a practical side also in the working out of the salvation that we have in Christ and uh, according to the scripture, he says, for it is God who works in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. And so we have that practical side of working out, uh, you know, the salvation that we have. We, not for salvation, but working out by Bible study and understanding the things of God and growing in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ into the likeness of Christ. But this passage in James teaches us about how we keep our life clean before God. He's dealing with people that have allowed the world to come back into their life and the things of this world. And he's reminding them that this does not please the heart of God. And so here's the answer that he gives to them, the admonition. He says, but, <clears throat> but he gives more grace. Wherefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace unto the humble. And so we're to humble ourselves before God. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God and resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. There's the practical side. That's our responsibility. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. In other words, be serious about what you're doing and dealing with your sin and allowing God to show you anything in your life that's keeping you from bearing fruit and uh, being a fruitful Christian and, and knowing and uh, living in the power of the Spirit and in the joy of the Lord today. And so God's telling us, allow him to shine the light on our life to see if there's anything that prevents us from being what God wants us to be today. He says, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. And so the responsibility, personal responsibility in my life is to stay clean before God and usable. Leo Humphrey used to tell me when we'd finish a mission trip and I'd head back home from his house down in South Louisiana, he would say, stay clean, Ray, stay clean. So let me remind you today to cleanse your hands and purify your hearts. If you've lost that joy and that peace and that purpose for your life and the direction that God has for your life, then allow God to shine the light of truth into your heart. And then there you take the responsibility of cleansing your hands and purifying your hearts by confession of your sin, repenting of that sin, and thanking God that through Jesus you're delivered from the power of that sin today. God bless you. Have a great day. and Stay clean.